This video will demonstrate how to create an exam in WebAssign. The topics covered in this video will include creating an exam, exam settings and secure testing strategies, creating question pools, exam restrictions such as creating timed assignments and applying the lockdown browser, and we'll cover some tips and best practices along the way. To get started, click Create Assignment. Add the assignment name and instructions. Within Assignment Settings, any assignment can be converted into an exam by changing the assignment template to one made for exams or by altering the settings. For the purposes of this demo, I will select Exam WebAssign Default Template. After choosing a template, review the assignment settings. Under Cheating Deterrence, you may decide to make some changes such as Shuffling question order, which will display the questions in a different order for each student, and you may choose to turn off the display of question names. This will make it so the question name won't appear on the assignment to reduce the chance of students finding the questions online. Next, review the student feedback section. Based on this template, the help content such as Read It, Watch It, and Master It tools only show after the due date. However, if you're delivering an open book exam, you may decide to turn these on. Now it's time to pick exam questions. We recommend adding an honor code question. This question is optional, but will require that students pledge that they will maintain academic integrity during your exam. You can find this by searching honor code template in the top right corner and add it to the exam. Or you can create your own version of this question tailored to your school or syllabus. Next, choose questions from the textbook. For this demo, I'm going to choose a few questions from each chapter. To further enhance the security of this exam, I'm going to add a few questions on the same topic and of the same difficulty to a question pool. A question pool is a group of similar questions that will be delivered randomly to your students depending on your settings. For this example, I created a pool of three questions and each student will only receive one question from the pool. This adds more variety to your exam, making it more difficult for students to copy or share questions with other students because they may not have the same exact question. You can create and include as many pools as you wish. Once you've added all exam questions, click Update Assignment. Under Questions, you'll be able to see the time it will take for students to complete the assignment and adjust the settings for each question. These will default to the assignment settings unless you change them. Here, the Show My Work feature can be enabled. Show My Work allows students to upload a picture or file or annotate their work to show how they got to their answer. To enable Show My Work, open a question. Go to Points Adjustments and toggle on Require Students to Show Their Work. Enter a point value students will receive by showing their work. Many instructors prefer to make this zero and then add points later based on the quality of work. If you choose to use Show My Work along with the lockdown browser, Students will only be able to annotate their work. They will not be able to upload a picture or file. Once all the settings are confirmed, scroll back to the top and click Save and Schedule. Drag and drop the assignment onto the schedule considering when you want students to see it and when it will be due and adjusting dates accordingly. If preferred, the last step is to set assignment restrictions. Click the blue button next to the assignment and choose Edit Restrictions. Here you have several options depending how you want to deliver your exam. You can set a password. This is a good option to grant access to an assignment early for select students. You can enable IP address restriction to ensure only the students within a classroom or computer lab are taking the exam. You can turn on lockdown browser in which students will not be able to open any other application other than WebAssign while taking their exam. You can make this a timed exam where a time limit is set for students to complete the exam, which makes it more difficult for students to look up the exam answers online. You can also give select students extra time should they need accommodation. When the assignment restrictions have been updated, click Save. Once an exam is created, it can be reviewed from the student's perspective. Click View as Student. Hover over the assignments to see what restrictions were set for the assignments. 
This example has a timer and password protection. Click the assignment title to open it. This screen will appear first if there are assignment restrictions. This gives important information to students before entering the assignment, including a prompt to enter a password, time limit, and information about downloading Lockdown Browser. Since this is a timed assignment, the student will have a timer in the top right of their assignment. The timer will not stop if they leave the exam. Notice that the question name is not showing at the top of each question because it is hidden from students. The honor code question is at the top. The second question is a show my work question. And this question is from the question pool created earlier, so notice that the student received only one question out of the pool of three. Thanks for watching this video on how to create and examine WebAssign. For additional help and resources, please visit our training and support sites.